Hello everyone, Nadlap here. Today we're going to be making this very simple attraction and eventually repulsion system in the Godot game engine, version 3. Point, um, version 3.2.2 stable, and let's get right into it. So I'm just going to give a quick disclaimer. We don't need a script to make the gravity work. In fact, we just have to use what Godot already provides, and that's in the area 2D. When you go to the area 2D, in fact, I'll just delete this icon because we don't need it. Uh, in the area 2D, I have a script and I'll show you it's just a simple movement script, a simple mouse movement script where we just add the uh, velocity to the global position and the velocity is always going to be equal to the mouse position minus the global position and that basically allows for this um, area to d to always be on top of or always be uh, where the mouse is. And if you're wondering how I can see the collision shape, I actually went into the debug and I went to visible collision shapes. Anyway, that was the script and the settings and now if we go over here to the area to these properties you can see that we have a space override in fact i'll just enlarge this a bit space override combine uh, usually it's disabled but we have to combine and we have to set gravity point on if you make sure those two are on and you have a rigid body a simple rigid body with no settings changed except for can sleep you want to make sure can sleep is off this is on this is off and if you want to, you can add a physics material with a simple belt if you want to. And when we run the instant, you can see we get the simple attraction behavior. And now it does look like they're orbiting the mouse. But if I let this run for a bit, you can see that they start to eventually fall towards the center of the... They eventually start to fall and slow down. And that I guess that's um that's how gravity works in real life. Uh, most things uh, start to fall and slow down. But I'm it would be really interesting to see some orbits. And I'm actually working on that. But uh, this is the attraction. If you want to repel them for some reason you can always take the gravity value and that was just a random number you don't have to do it like that but um, generally I find that you had the gravity value has to be really large for it to work for example if I just set it to its default go over here set it to its default which is 98 and I set you to 98 as well and if I set the if I set the gravity value to a, a lower number you can see that it still works but it's quite slow and yeah that's just a simple tutorial on how to make a attraction and repulsion in the Godot game engine and I'll just be right back and this is also possible in the 3D world and yes I will start to do more tutorials in 3D as I've just started to develop the intuition for 3D and I'll actually be explaining how uh, you can also get the intuition for 3D and you can see that if we go over here to our ball it's the exact sorry it's the exact same thing physics material bounce right uh, in fact the bounce is a little bit higher because I just want to it's just a little bit more interesting um, doesn't affect the gravity in any way and over here we have our area 2D, just this large cube. I don't know how visible that would be, but um, yeah, just this uh, cube over here, quite large. And again, we have combine and gravity point on. And over here, the gravity is 9.8 instead of 98. And I just increased it a little bit. And if we run the main scene, the world scene, you can see that these orbs will just start uh, being attracted to the center over here, which is exactly where we have the gravity area. Uh, this time it's like a gray line. And you can see, I should get rid of that, and uh, you can see that they're just attracted to the center. kind of looks like an atom. And yeah, uh, that's all for this tutorial. Have an amazing day.